what is good YouTube I say what is good YouTube okay I got a good video for y'all today okay this is not for you normal people this is for you NFL fans this is for you uh get some water this video is actually for you Cowboy fans America's best team America's favorite team this video is about the Dallas Cowboys this video is actually about Dak Prescott and his current contract situation if you don't know that contract is currently coming to an end so i'm going to fill you guys in and let you guys know what's going on from my end all right so let's hop into the video roll the intro please everything sports related breaking news fantasy advice score updates weekly thoughts and more this is the sports choose network okay let's hop into this man Dak prescott okay you know who Dak Prescott is, man. Come on. He is the quarterback for your favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. After this 2019 season, Dak will be a free agent. Or maybe not. Just depends on what the Cowboys do. But just to give you a little background information. Dak Prescott was a fourth round draft pick from uh, Mississippi State. He came in, he showed out in the preseason, and he eventually earned a starting spot and forced Tony Romo to retire. Tony Romo would have continued to play had he not suffered that back injury he suffered. Dak Prescott is a two-time Pro Bowler. Uh, he was the rookie of the year back when he was a rookie, 2016. Uh, he was also the offensive player of the year, rookie offensive player of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, right now, he currently has uh, 10,000 passing yards. Current touchdown to interception ratio is 67 touchdowns to 25 interceptions. And his passer rating right now currently stands at 96, which is, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's, it's all right. You know, it's, it's good. And then, uh, you know, he's a runner. He can run the ball. So he has right now currently 944 yards of rushing along with 18 rushing touchdowns. Okay. So that's just a little background information on Mr. Dak Prescott and all, all his accolades and all his stats that's going down. Okay. Right now, Dak Prescott is only averaging about $680,000 a year from when he got drafted. Yes, that is a steal for a quarterback, especially in the fourth round. Because most of these quarterbacks right now, we're jumping up into the high 30s, okay? So for Dak, be making $680,000 a year, goes to show that the Cowboys got a steal for the last three years. Well, that is all getting ready to come to an end because as much as Dak Prescott wants to remain a Cowboy, these two sides cannot figure out a number. The Cowboys want to offer Dak 30 mil a year. Now, you probably say, why did he turn that down? 30 million years is a lot of money. It really is a lot of money. But, man, being a quarterback in the NFL and for the Dallas Cowboys, you want as much money as you can get, okay? So, he threw a ballpark number out there. He said, you know what? If we're going to start negotiating, I want 34 million a year. Leave it right there. Steven Jones, hammer that for me. $34 million is a lot of money. Is Dak Prescott worth $34 million? No! I don't think Dak Prescott is worth $34 million. Now, $32 million a year? Yes, I do think he's worth $32. 34? No. You gotta be out your mind to pay him $34 million a year. Dak cannot throw a ball past 20 yards. I don't know if you noticed. I watch a lot of Cowboy games. I do live in Texas. I watch a lot of Cowboy games. Dak can't throw the ball plus 20 yards. So we're just gonna leave that at that. With that being said, the reason why he threw that 34 number out is because Carson Wentz, who was also in his draft class, who also went second overall Carson Wentz signed a four-year 128 million dollar contract where he's gonna roughly average 32 million dollars a year if we're gonna go compare these guys we got to bring in Jared Goff on the other side because Jared Goff went first overall Carson Wentz went second overall Dak Prescott went in the fourth round the real question is is Dak Prescott better than those two quarterbacks yes and no okay to me yes and no he does some things better but on certain different occasions, no, he is not a better quarterback. Jared Goff can throw. Carson Wentz can throw. Dak cannot throw. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's hop into some of these little stats, okay? Here's what I got for you. Let's compare it just a little bit. Golf's passer rating currently right now is 94.7. Carson Wentz right now is 92.5. And you already heard me say that Dak Prescott's 96. Also, yards per attempt. Golf is averaging 7.7 .7 yards. Carson Wentz is averaging 7. And Mr. Dak Prescott's averaging 7.4. Moving along to rushing yards. These other other two guys are not rushers. Dak can run. Dak has 944 yards. Mr. Golf has 175 yards. And Carson Wentz has 542 yards. I mean, that's simple. He beats them in that category easily. Okay. He's running the ball. He does a lot of Actually, he doesn't do a lot of read option with Zeke, but he will if he had to. So let's go ahead and get into the records. Okay. So currently, right now, uh Jared Goff is 24-14. Okay. Carson Wentz, 23-17. All right. Dak Prescott, 32-16. Here's where the big difference in all of these numbers come into play. Is Dak Prescott a better quarterback than Jared Goff? You can argue yes, you can argue no. Is he a better quarterback than Carson Wentz? Again, you can argue yes, you can argue no. My personal take is a give or take situation. Yes and no for me. Here's why. I know football is a team sport. I understand that, I play football, I already know. 
Okay, I know every sport you play is a team sport. As much as you want to count rings, it's all a team sport. Jared Goff has been to a Super Bowl. Carson Wentz has been to a Super Bowl. Now, although Jared Goff got beat out by Tom Brady and Carson Wentz actually won a Super Bowl, Carson Wentz did not play in the Super Bowl. But Carson Wentz led that team to the Super Bowl because by the time Nick Foles took over, Carson already had them in a the position to succeed. All Foles had to do was come in and drive the car. Okay? So, there's that. Has Dak Prescott been to Super Bowl? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He has not. Okay? So, with that being said, the real question, I'm going to come back to this. Is Dak Prescott a $34 million quarterback a year? No. If I was Cowboys, I'd go ahead and offer him $32 million a year. And the reason why I say this is because if you look at the Cowboys game plan, they solely rely on Ezekiel Elliott to have 100 plus rushing yards a game. Okay? And I'm actually making a video about Mr. Ezekiel Elliott and this whole situation with Roger Goodell. That'll be my next video. But right now we're talking about Dak Prescott. Right now we're talking about what he can and can't do. Okay? That offense relies on Ezekiel Elliott. And before even that, now before Jason Witten retired, or after Jason Witten retired and they had no receivers on the team, Prescott was not doing too well as a quarterback. Now, you factor that. You bring in, you trade for Amari Cooper. Boom, next thing you know, Prescott is tossing touchdowns out of this way like he's just Drew Brees or something, okay? That is a lot. My final conclusion on this whole situation, the Cowboys have no choice but to pay Dak Prescott. It's hard to find a franchise quarterback in the NFL. You can try, you can try, you can try, but it's hard to find a quarterback in the NFL, a franchise quarterback. So if the Cowboys do not pay Dak Prescott, then they must have another trick up their sleeve because at the end of the day, Zeke is not gonna get paid that much money. He's a running back. Running backs deteriorate over time. They're not good. They only average about eight years in the NFL. Quarterbacks, listen, you got Tom Brady who's playing, he's 41. You got Drew Brees who's playing, who's 40. There you have it. You can have Dak for another, let me see, Dak is what, 25, 26? You can have Dak for another 15 years if you want. If he's continuing to hold up, his body holds up and he plays well, okay? So, for all you Cowboy fans who are freaking out, who are worried, are we gonna sign Dak, are we gonna sign? Yeah, you're gonna sign Dak. Now the question is, what's gonna be the number, okay? Because whatever it is, it's gonna be a four or five year contract. If they sign him anything less than that, then we might have a little complication because now we're getting into, well, he's gonna get another big payday along down, down the road like Russell Wilson did. Because when Russell Wilson first signed his big contract, it was like a four year, like $88 million deal. Now he went back and just signed another four year, $100 million deal. So he's getting shmoney. That's the term I like to use. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Shmoney. All right. Jerry Jones needs to get it together. Steven Jones needs to get it together and you need to go ahead and pay Dak, okay? Like I said, I mean, he's not the best quarterback in the NFL. I get it, I get it, but he is a good quarterback. He is somewhat of a good leader, okay? You have to pay this man, because if you don't, somebody will who doesn't have a franchise quarterback and then you're gonna be luck and stuck with no one. Because you let Tony Romo retire because he just sucked. Well, no, okay, no, he was old. All right, so to wrap it up, my final conclusion, I think Dak Prescott is anywhere worth between 30 and 32 million dollars a year. Is he gonna get paid more than Carson Wentz or Jared Goff? Probably not, just because of what they accomplish. But Dak is a good quarterback and he can hang with those guys. So, you Cowboy fans, you know, America's best team or America's favorite team. Don't get too sad, Dak's coming back. All right, he's gonna be there. He wants to be a Cowboy for life. He even said that in the video. He said, you know what? I wanna be a Cowboy for life, so pay me. Uh, I mean, I want to be a cowboy forever. I think uh, the people that are doing the deal feel the same way. So to me, pay me. But this has been another short, quick episode of the Sports Juice Network where we sit, we talk about sports, we drink on some juice, and we have a good time. My next video is going to explain the whole case with Ezekiel Elliott and his Las Vegas pushing a security guard down and having to meet with Roger Goodell and all that stuff. Okay, so be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow your boy on all the social media. It's like, share, and comment on the videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one, okay? Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch y'all later. Yo!